Welcome back to Fun Time Lanes in Holyoke, Massachusetts, where we have arrived at the semi-final match of this Western New England Tour event. And in this match, Steve Vadney, who has won the first two matches over Tom Bishop and uh, Steve Re Stephen Reno Jr., will face the second seed, Brian Mayer, for the right to meet the top seed, Dave Dupuy. Now, Brian Mayer qualified second with a 677 for five strings, and that included strings of 132, 116, 150, 147, and 132. So that was uh, obviously a pretty stellar set of five strings, and that's how he finds himself in the second seed against uh, Steve Adney. And there's the handshake. We're ready to go. Both of the uh, first two matches, as you'll recall, have were both very close, down to the last frame, and no reason to doubt that this might be another one. Brian Mayer, as as you probably know, has won quite a number of these Western New England Tour events over the years, as has Steve Adney, and it seems like uh, this tour is pretty much a regular paycheck for most of for both guys. Steve Vadney with a spare in the first box, and Brian Mayer with 10. Brian was a member, as you can see from his shirt, he, uh, he was a member of the USA East team that won the World Invitational Team Tournament up in Bangor, Maine last November. And they're going to be going up to Halifax, Nova Scotia next month to defend their title. And that's always an exciting tournament. It features 24 of the best teams in the world in a, uh, a round-robin competition. Round-robin between two divisions of, of 12 teams. It takes place over four days plus a, uh, a singles knockout tournament the day before the team tournament goes underway. Anyhow, Brian Mayer has got five. Oh, there's a strike by Steve Vadney in the third frame. Let's take a go right to a replay on this solid one-two pocket hit. And that's a strike in the third for Steve Vadney. Brian Mayer with an unusual four drop. He took out the one, three, six, and eight. That is not one that you see very often. And he makes a nice try, but he's still got the 7-10 standing, and he uh, is able to get the 7. So Brian has got 27 after 3. Steve Vadney with 35 plus the uh, fill on that strike. This is a home game for Brian Mayer since he bowls out of fun time lanes, but as I'm sure you know from previous, if you follow the Western New England Tour, Brian has won in any number of different venues out in the western part of New England. He throws a good first ball, but he's got that 7-9 and tries to convert with using a piece of wood in front of the 7, but doesn't get the 9. And Steve Adney with a nice shot. Taking out that 1, 8, 9, 10 for another mark. That's a 10 fill on the strike and another mark. And look, let's look at how he did it. He hits the left side of the head pin, comes off the wall, and takes out the 10, 9, and 8 in that order. That gives Steve 55 plus a, a ball after 4. Brian Mayer with 37. <clears throat> and Brian has an 8 drop, leaving the 3-6 with a piece of wood that might help him make make the spare. And he has no trouble with that. So Brian obviously needs to get going here against Steve Adney. And uh, that spare is a good start. Steve not quite able to make that 3-4-6 split. He makes the uh, four pin for a ten box. So through five, 
Steve Vadney has 72 and Brian Mayer 47 with the ball working as they switch lanes and Steve comes over to lane 6 and Steve Vadney hits the pretty solid on the head pin gets 8 a lot of sidewall action there and he leaves a 6-10 and Brian Mayer with a 9 drop leaving the 3 pin Steve Vadney goes right by that wood just takes the 610 clean he's uh, somebody's uh, poking fun at him for that he may have been trying to use the wood or he may have just been trying to go right by it anyhow it's a spare for Steve Vadney and meanwhile Brian Mayer also converts the spare Steve Vadney filling in the spare in the sixth he's got 82 with a ball and just three on the fill Brian Mayer with seven, and he's got two, four, seven, but a tricky piece of wood that's at an angle in front of the two. I'm not sure. He's going to have to go really, really high in order to push this back and take out the four, seven. And he actually went pretty high, but it just wasn't high enough. So he just took out the two. And Steve Adney will take an eight box in the seventh. Brian with a nine. So Steve Badney leads by 11 through 7 frames, 93 to 82. Steve with 6, leaving the 2, 4, 5, 7. And Brian Mayer with the uh, sort of a mirror image of that leave. Wow, Steve gets everything but the four. And Brian Mayer with the spare in the eighth. That's going to tighten it up considerably as Steve takes a ten. So it's an eleven pin lead for Steve Vadney minus whatever Brian can put on that spare. Steve has 103 and Brian with 92 plus the extra ball. And Steve with six drop. Brian drops seven, so that cuts it to a four pin lead. But Steve Adney with a four horseman left, and he's got it. He, uh, as you'll see on the replay, he just clips the head pin with the ball, and the ball carries through and takes takes out the two four seven. It's the two into the four seven, so. That's an important spare in the ninth box. And Brian Mayer with a nice bid to try to convert that 3 4 6. But it doesn't go. So he's going to be open in the ninth. He will take a 10 box. So right now, Steve Vadney is leading by four pins plus whatever he can put on the spare. He's got 113 with a ball to Brian Mayer's 109. Ooh, good ball by Steve Vadney, but too full on the head pin, and he's just got four. So that's that leaves a little opening for Brian Mayer, and Brian has got nine. So it looks like Steve will almost certainly be open in the tenth, and Brian has an excellent chance to make a spare. Steve Vadney punches out the four pin, so he's going to need an need an out, and it looks like Brian is going to be able to have no trouble making that four so Steve needs to get every stick that he can and he's got a seven so that makes a it makes it a uh, a 124 game for Steve Vadney Brian Mayer has 119 with a ball so this comes right down to this last ball Brian Mayer needs five pins to tie six to win and that's gonna do it Brian Brian Mayer has got an eight drop and so Brian comes up with a 127 to 124 win over Steve Vadney. That puts Brian in the final match against top seed Dave Dupuy. And we'll be back with that one.